All right, so we've sliced up the tile set and it's all cut up. But what's that even mean? Like I showed you how it uh, goes into separate pictures and everything, but why did we need to do that in the first place? Really, as much as I can explain it right now, like it's it's not gonna be as good as seeing it. So let's actually go in and build something. Let's do this. All right, so under here in the sample scene, you can actually right click and you will see on here that you can actually build something. You go over here to uh, 2D uh, object and you see that where it says tile map, that will build you your grid right here. So right clicked it, you did 2D object, you hit tile map, it built this grid. Now, as you can see, the grid overlaps on the, onto like the, the grid that was on there before, basically. It does it based on the units. And you can actually start building onto this right here. Now, you're gonna wanna go to window you're going to want to go down to 2D, and then you're going to hit Tile Palette. It'll pop open a separate window that looks like this. It might pop it open in here. You can move it around. I actually like to put it on my second monitor, but uh, for now, we'll put it over here just so you can see it. Uh, and I'll put it in right... We'll do here, I guess. So I'll click between Hierarchy and Tile Palette for a little bit so that you can see it. Okay. So over here inside the palette, we can actually start to create ourselves something. So let's call it uh, Sunny Land, and we'll go based on that. That's fine. Blah blah blah. Okay, create, and we want to build it right into our assets right here. And it builds it right here in this assets folder that you see. It literally is computer folders, by the way, if you didn't know that. So like if these things right here on the screen are literally the same as these right here. They're inside this file, you know, uh, this assets folder is literally within my YouTube tutorial folder, which is, by the way, the name of the project that we set up in the beginning in the first video. And then this is actually just my, you know, documents and stuff. So it'll actually save right into that, you right in your assets folder. Your assets as far up as you want to go, because that's what you have access to within the project. Um, let's call this inside the assets folder is fine. So let's go select and ta-da, we built it. And if we see here on there, you see how it's a sunny land grid, ta-da, we have the palette. And it is set up. That is what this is right here. So if you click this assets folder, it's in there. And by the way, if you right click this interesting side bit here, and you go into show and explore, it'll actually show you what it looks like inside your explorer. You can open this up just by going to your computer, C drive, and so forth, and you'll actually get to the same thing. All right, so we got this open. Let's go back to artwork and environments and other tile set that we sliced up earlier you just drag it on over now it'll convert it all for you uh, we're going to build it right into the same folder for now we'll get a little bit like if you've actually know some things about unity you know that this is going to be very messy if we keep on going this way as the project gets bigger but for now we're not going to really worry about that we go select folder it'll do it right in here and build it for us so right now it's generating the actual tile. So it's taking all those little pictures and it's actually generating them one by one into tiles on here to be used inside of this grid. Once it's done, you'll actually be able to see them on there. And if we click on one here, if any of these, you can, by the way, you, the same controls work. Zooming in is uh, mouse will up, mouse will down goes out. You can go back and forth and you can middle click to go move around and you can even click through here to move things and stuff and you know you'll get the hang of it but for now if you click on one of these it'll select it left click and if you click out here to da you started to build the level pretty crazy right now this middle one right here could be repeated as you see and if you just hold down your mouse button you can just move it over if you click this one on the left, it'll actually build the ending right there. If you click this one over here on the right, this one, you can create the other ending. And then you hit play and all of a sudden, boom, you got all, you got a, like a stand of some sort there, you know, like a platform. And you can build it up a little bit better than this. And I misclick there and just, you know, do something like this and 
build something that looks more like a little floating island. All I'm doing is clicking on each one of these that I want to use and put them together. So that the artist obviously knew what he was doing and made it so that it all fits. You know, like you can just repeat this. You can even click on one of these two things and create a picture and just like, you know, just mix it up a bit on there. Control Z if you want to undo. It's really intuitive. I clicked on two. Oh, and if you select multiple of these, you of course get multiples like this too. So you can do something like that. Like literally all I'm doing is left clicking, dragging down, and you can see by the box what I'm selecting and I can just, you know, build something like that as well. This branch looking thing, you can do something like this, you know, you can do this all sorts of different ways. Control Z to undo once again. What we're going to do is if you hit this button over here, you can actually erase and you can bring up your eraser, you can just erase away. Or you can also have your paintbrush up like you had before where you're creating things and by the way if you didn't know or something was messed up before you might not have been on your paintbrush you can actually uh, you make sure this thing's like pushed down like this or you can push B and it will bring it up select it and deselect it eraser though you can also hold down shift and erase with whatever you're on and do it this way as well so you can never leave your brush if you want to you know all right so that's basically how you paint things on and why we use all these little pictures so if we didn't slice it all up before, we wouldn't be able to select one like this. It would select this whole giant thing instead. It would select it like this and we'd only be able to paint like this. So we'd be like, you know, we'd have to paint like this in order to do it. But because we have it this way now, we can do something like this. See what I meant? Like when I when I was talking about how we did we could uh, have just the squares like this and use this one on repeat we can build it longer like this and you can even do like like different designs you know like um let's say not on, on there we go we can even do something like you know let's say like this and then you can do something like that you see it's like more unique and then you can still select them all and do it all but you have way more options if you have it sliced up like this and then of course you hold down shift and you can just delete it all again you do however you want Control Z and ta-da, it's packed. You should start to get the hang of it now. Now, I would like to challenge you to try something on your own here. Uh, I'm gonna give you some instructions here and I want you to try it because this, as you can tell, it's not complete. It's not a complete tile set right here. Uh, it's not layered is the problem. If we built this whole level, if I built this whole thing out and I push play, it's just a bland looking board right there. You know, I mean, it helps that the camera automatically puts a blue background on it for us, which, by the way, you can change in case you were wondering. Uh, but it, it's not, you know, it's not what you saw on that picture in the asset store over here, you know? It's not this. So, the reason why is because we have no background. We don't have any layers built in yet, and I think that's a very important part of this process. So, if we build this out right this, what I want to challenge you to do is I want you to go back to your artwork, go back to Sunnyland Artwork Environments. I want you to take this right here and I want you to slice this up 16 by 16, just like we did the other one. Pause it up and try it yourself. Oh, but you know what, before we start that, why should you try to do this without just seeing me do it? The adult learner is why. Like, uh, if you're an adult learner, or even if you're younger, the best way to learn as a human being is by doing it yourself. If you can do it from your own mind without any prompts, without anybody telling you what to do, you will learn it far quicker. You will master it far quicker. You will do it far faster. You will go from zero to a hundred a lot faster. If you can't do it like that, you'll never learn it. It'll never happen, especially as an adult. Yeah, that's the gist of it. So uh, pause the video here and try it out. Okay. So, if you guys stuck at all, no problem. Like, and this kind of a little bit tricky compared to what you would think, because like right now, you would think to yourself, "Oh, this is one big picture." Well, the thing is, it's it's really not gonna be. We're gonna set it up as a multiple picture. It's gonna be a, all those tiny little squares are gonna be separate pictures, like puzzle pieces. So, if you didn't get that part, if you didn't figure that part out, why don't you try to pause it and then try to figure it out again at this point? All right, so. Going from here, we can go Sprite Editor, 
Of course, we're going to apply the settings of changing it to multiple. You could have also pushed apply right here to do it. No problem. Hit apply. You're going to hit, want to hit slice. <coughs> we automatically slice it. It'll just make it one picture. So we're going to go to like we did before, grid by cell size. And you want to go 16 by 16 because that is the size that we're using on everything else. Then slice it up. Ta-da! It's all now a 16 by 16 picture. And we're going to want to hit apply. And just like that, it's become a tile set. Now, in order to get the tile set into this right here, how did we do it last time? Why don't you, once again, pause it, try it out. Once again, if you didn't weren't able to do that, not a big deal. So first thing first, you can zoom out as far as possible. You want to go down to a good spot or over to a good spot. This is going to take up a lot of room. Then uh, you can see how much room it's going to take up. Click on the spot that you want to go to. We're going to select the same folder that we're inside once again. And it will generate a new tile set. All right. I just finished loading mine. And you can see here that you can select parts of this picture and load it all up. If you have the brush active, it would help. And I can once again build part of the level and make it look good. But right now we have a problem. The game has no idea what order to draw these things inside, right? Right now, if it builds it, it, it just it's going to be based on like whatever order is in this hierarchy right here. So right now, it has no idea how to place these pictures when we put them down. So say if I put something like this on there, and if I put something like this, okay, this is on top of that. That's cool and all, but then uh, and it worked out but here's like a good example or you know what what's a better example this one right here maybe where's a good one? Oh, the branch this is a good example look when i put down this branch right here there's no blue background behind it it's it's not layered correctly how we wanted it so how do we fix this Well, we want to layer it all on. So how do we do this? Well, the thing is you want a different tile map for each layer. So first off, let's, we've been drawing on this tile map right here this whole time. Let's rename it to something that makes more sense. Now, the, the thing that we want in the background is, of course, going to be the background. So let's name it to that. If you click, if you left clicked on this, you push F2, it'll let you rename it. You can also right click it and hit rename and you can rename it as well. Type in background and you're all set on that. Now, going from here, you're like, okay, that's cool. I have a background, but how do I have a foreground too? Well, if you right click on grid and you go to 2D object, you can once again create another tile map. It doesn't build a whole new grid. It just puts a new tile map on there. Now, I want you to rename this foreground or whatever you want to name it. It's fine. And now, we have two, we have two separate tile maps to draw on. But... It's not quite good enough because each tile map is working on the same sorting layer, meaning that they are drawing at the same time in the screen. Uh, basically, problems can still happen. The game doesn't know which which one you want to be the background and which one you want to be the foreground. In order to fix that, you go over here to layers and you want to go edit layers. Now you want to go to sorting layers because that's what you use inside of the tile map world. And you want to hit plus. Now. You want the background to be first, and then the next one you want is the foreground. The game builds it in the same order that you see it here. So it'll build the for background first, and then it will build the foreground second. You see? Now, after you've put it on here, you want to set it up so that the, each one of these matches up with it. Now, it's coincidental that, uh, that I'm matching the names. You don't have to match the names at all. Um, so say I go back in here and I go to edit layers and say I just name this back and I name this four, right? So the names don't match anymore, just, just for fun. Uh, see, the names didn't need to match in order the, the grid names, uh, the tile map names in order for it to work. So I put this one to back, I put this one to four. See, it works out. We can name it whatever we want. I could name it Spanky and 
Charlie, and it would have worked out fine. Now this order and layer, the will change the order within the foreground layer and within the background layer. For now, you don't really need to worry about it. I'll show you more what that means at a later point. Now, we're in the background layer right now. So if you go to the tile palette, it'll tell you which one you're painting on. Now you want to paint on one or the other. So first let's paint the background. Select this all. If you're not on your brush, you can push B and select it, or you can just left click it and select it. You want to make a box around this whole thing. And then you can just make it so that the sky and everything is right lined up however you want it. And ta-da, we have the whole thing. Now you want to switch to foreground and you can start to paint the land on there or something like this. Then make an end, another end, and then you can go like over here and do that and kind of make your own little island looking thing on here. Ta-da! And you can do that. Now I want you to make this however you want to make this, but it's it's really up to you. And as you can see, it, this is on top of there. If I would have done uh, the, let's say I just get rid of all this. You don't have to get rid of it all, but I'm gonna. So if I say the foreground, and I did this, if I had it backwards and I screwed up in some way, and then I painted this first, and then I went to background, and I did this, watch what happens. I'll start painting from over here, and it goes behind it. You see what I'm saying? That's the power of those layers that we set up. All right, next thing I want you to do is to actually go in and build your own level. Don't do it the way I'm going to do it. Just set it up the way you want. I'm just showing you right now that you can you can put these in there together and you can like uh, span it over a span of uh, quite a bit of space and you can just build it however you want. I'll build my own off camera and I think that's best for you to learn on your own on this part. You know, get creative with it. This is the fun part. All right. I'll see you in the next video. Later. Bye.